Have you watched the wood in your aquarium gradually being turned into sawdust by your Plex? Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to look at fishes that breathe air, eat wood, and are hard to kill them. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready, and make sure to stay tuned till the end, as we dive right into the video. Number 1. Catfish Panic nigrolinitis, a Brazilian armored catfish, is able to eat and digest wood and survive for a long period of time on a wood-only diet. It maintains this xylophagus, wood-eating, lifestyle through microbes in its digestive system that digest cellulose and fix nitrogen, but the bacteria have never been studied. The EU-funded project Metagenomic Analysis of Microbial Communities involved in wood degradation in xylophagic catfish studied these microbes and the genes they use to achieve this feat. Scientists raised the fish on wood only or wood plus other foods and then studied the bacterial communities in different parts of the gastrointestinal tract. Genetic sequencing revealed that there are distinct microbial communities present in each part of the GI tract. Species richness was highest in the foregut and researchers showed that each area, foregut, migot, hindgut, whole auxiliary lobe, had very distinct communities. This suggests that each community performs a different digestive function. METXYO identified close relatives of microorganisms that digest cellulose and fix nitrogen in other ecosystems. This is the first time that scientists have found nitrogen-fixing bacteria in a vertebrate GI tract. With the rising reliance on biofuels and bioplastics, bacteria that can digest cellulose are in demand. The bacterial communities and genes identified during the project will be useful to biotechnologists working in those fields. Number 2. Otosynclus catfish Otosynclus catfish are extremely popular little fish that make an excellent addition to your freshwater aquarium. Despite their petite size of up to 2 inches, relentless fungus-eating fish can devour an impressive quantity of all kinds of algae and fungus in a very short time. Although these fish prefer soft green algae and brown algae, they will eat most kinds of dead plant matter and fungus. If there are not enough soft algae to sustain the fish, you must supplement their diet with blanched veggies and algae wafers. These algae-eating catfish are peaceful little creatures that prefer to live in schools of at least five individual fish. Thanks to their tiny size, you can keep a small group of odos in a 30-gallon tank. You can keep these catfish with pretty much any other fish species, except large, carnivorous types that might try to make a meal of the odos. Number 3. Twig Catfish Another bottom-dwelling species that eats algae and fungus is the weirdly shaped twig or whiptail catfish. More properly called the Farloella catfish, these odd-looking creatures quickly make a meal of any forms of algae and fungus that they find growing on the surfaces within the aquarium. Although twig catfish can grow up to 8 inches long, they are so well camouflaged that they can easily go unnoticed among the plants and other decorations in a fish tank. These peaceful community fish will live happily with other non-aggressive fish species such as tetras, rasporas, hatchetfish, and goramus. You can keep twig catfish in small tanks of 20 to 30 gallons. Set the tank up with plenty of hiding spots such as driftwood, lush planting, and bogwood to create the perfect habitat for these unusual fish. Although pretty hardy, these catfish are sensitive to fluctuations in water conditions, so be sure to keep things stable. Twig catfish can subsist on all types of algae and fungus growing in your tank, but that might not be sufficient to maintain them indefinitely, so be sure to supplement that diet with algae wafers a few times every week. Number 4. Bristlenose Placo The Bristlenose Placo also known as the bristlenose catfish, has a big appetite and can make a wonderful addition to large setups. These fish can get pretty big, growing up to 5 inches when fully grown. That means they can munch their way through a lot of fungi. Bristlenose plecos are bottom-dwelling fish that feed on any type of algae, although they will happily graze on fungus too. Also, you'll need to supplement the fish's diet with sinking algae wafers so that the fish get enough to eat. These plecos are usually chilled out dudes that will get along with a wide range of fish. Plecos are nocturnal, 
emerging at night to feed and spending the day hiding out among your aquarium plants. So if you have a large tank and a fungus problem, the Bristolinose Pleco could be worth considering. Number 5. Siamese Algae Eater These beautiful fish are as helpful as they are handsome. As the name suggests, Siamese algae eaters will graze on a range of algae, picking everything they can find from tank decorations, the viewing panes, and even plant leaves. As a bonus, these hardy fish will also clear away any fungus that's growing on your wooden pieces and plants. These fish will also eat flake food, pellets, and algae wafers. In fact, you need to make sure that your algae eaters get plenty to eat, as they can starve if you leave them to their own devices. Siamese algae eaters only reach a couple of inches in length, making them perfect for fish tanks of all sizes. However, these fish can be territorial, so we recommend large tanks that contain lots of living plants so that each algae eater can adopt a patch of their own. If there's enough space in your setup, you can keep a few of these fish, and they are generally peaceful with any type of fish. Number 6. Cory Fish Corydoras catfish are hardy fish that can be kept even by beginners because they're easy to keep and do well even in 20-gallon tanks. They're hardy fish with a peaceful temperament and don't grow larger than 2 to 3 inches. You'll mostly find them scavenging the bottom of your tank looking for leftover food. Cory catfish are schooling fish, so it's best to keep them in groups of 6 or more, especially that they're sociable creatures that get along with many other fish. Keeping them alone or in fewer numbers can cause health issues and change their temperament. They become even more timid and less active. Because they're bottom dwellers that spend a lot of time scavenging in the substrate, there's a risk of injury to their sensitive bellies if kept in gravel substrates. Therefore, there are some special requirements you should look out for. Provide sand substrate. Coarse gravel and other sharp substrates can injure their barbels and underbellies, so choose sand instead. Stable water parameters. Although Cory catfish are a hardy species that's more forgiving when it comes to water conditions, they do enjoy stable tank conditions. Omnivorous diet. Corys are an omnivorous species, meaning they require a balanced diet of meat-based and plant-based foods. Avoid keeping corys with aggressive tank mates because they're just too peaceful to stick up for themselves when aggressed. Also, make sure not to overfeed them. If cared for properly, corys can live between 12 to 15 so make sure you're up to date with their requirements. Is wood toxic to fish? Some wood is poisonous. No wood, including pine, can kill fish if it has been dead and sitting in the sun for even a few months. There is NO wood which has been weathered by even a few months of exposure to the elements, which is poisonous to fish. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.